go. Second day in Delhi, getting ready to head out. Um, it's still a really gloomy, rainy day today, but we're still gonna try to make the most of it. Cause as you guys know, yesterday was kind of a write off since we were half asleep running on an all nighter. So, yep. Saw a different type of rickshaw. Two seats facing each other. People selling their fruits and vegetables in the morning. This is called Jor Bazaar. It's known to have all the pieces that have been stolen. We're getting closer to the Chandni Chalk area. So we're gonna sit in one of these. And he's gonna spend an hour and a half taking us around. We're paying 300 rupees for this. I feel so bad that this guy has to let bicycle us around. But apparently that's the only way to get around here, so. I wish there was like pedals. That we can help feet. him, we can help him out with, yeah. So this guy's parking his rickshaw and we have to walk a little bit to get to the spice market. <laughs> this is the area where you can get flowers, fresh flowers. They're just getting set up for the day. So many flowers everywhere. Um, not this random guy staring at us. These are all packs and packs of different spices. These are all workers chilling here. They come and live here sometimes for a couple months at a time to do their business and then go back to their wherever they live with their families. That's from Sri Lanka, long India. Long pepper, like black pepper, vegetables, potatoes. So these are all different mix of spices. Mm -hmm. And teas. This is something called laya, but we can't recognize what it is. Apparently you put it in milk. Whoa, it feels weird. Feels like popcorn. Yeah, it looks like it. We're smelling different types of teas. Oh, you smell in some lemongrass tea. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Going the opposite way of traffic. But somehow it's gonna work. We just went into the narrowest alley. I don't know why. <laughs> but I thought we were gonna walk. This guy is straight in. Um, I just got that on camera. <laughs> Still going. The shop is huge. It has so many different parts to it. But from the outside, it looks so small, like it's tiny. So we're in this store, looking at different shawls because I want one. They're so pretty. So much color everywhere. Just finished our rickshaw tour. Now we decided we want to walk around a bit more because um, I'm sure the walking experience is a little more different. Yeah, and, and it's just hit 11 o'clock, which is when all the shops are going to be open. So it's uh, a lot busier now. Um, we'll show you guys the video once we get inside, but it's way busier than it was when we first entered. And it was already busy at that time. Yeah. So we're in one area where like literally everywhere is wedding cards or like paper related items. So what, what we noticed is that is that this place is very organized in an unorganized way. Like the area we're in, literally everywhere you look, it's gonna be things related to like cards or signs, something to do with paper. And that's all, that's in this area. And then in another area, there's everything that's like flowers related. Yeah, area and for food. For books. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool to see, right? I guess it's school time. Kids everywhere. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> hey, Nadu. Chandni Chowk mein tea nahi le sakte. Kyu? Bus nahi le sakte. Aur agar entry leni hai, to hi kya ki leni hai? Kaho. Chandu ki chaat ne chandu ki chaat ko chaani raat mein chaani chowk mein chaani ki chamma se chutni jaati hai. Kaho. Oh, we can't take our phones inside though. Like we can't take pictures or videos, which is sad. So we just finished at Akshardham. We learned that this is the biggest Hindu temple in the entire world. And it yeah, it was massive. And yeah, it's literally stunning. 
stunning. So intricate. Like literally every single part of every wall had some kind of design on it. Yeah. And they weren't like simple. All repeating or anything. Like there was like certain like one wall would be repeating and then the other one would be like different designs. Like you could look at those walls for hours and one hour if yeah. you really wanted to. We were super impressed with the architecture and the cleanliness. Yeah. And the organization too, like it was very well organized. We ate lunch there, and the food was also really good. So yeah. lot, lots of food options. And the food was like you kind of order in one counter, and then on the other side, it, it's numbers for different types of foods that you get. So whatever you order, you go to the like let's say we ordered like four or five different things, but they were like different types of things. So we had to go to different counters to get them all. Um, which was pretty cool and organized way to do it. And I guess that made it really fast. We got our food within yeah. minutes. Yeah, um, it was really fast. Yeah. So yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it and would definitely recommend people to go there and check it out. Yeah, and we learned a lot about the history and what it stands for. So that was really cool.